Having a proper permalink structure is one of the criteria for an SEO friendly website and it is one of the most important things to do before creating content or product on your website. So if you're new to WordPress or you're just starting out with a WordPress site, this is going to be helpful for you. But if you've been running your website for quite some time now, we don't recommend that you change your permalink structure unless it looks like this. And if you decide to change your permalink structure, you need to do proper redirections, otherwise you'll lose all the SEO benefits you have generated on your website. We recommend that you watch this video to learn more about proper redirections. Anyway, our goal for this video is to help you create an SEO friendly permalink structure for all your pages on your website and we'll show you how you can achieve that using rank math. So let's go. Hey, it's Jack here from RankMath, the WordPress SEO plugin that gives your business the best chance of beating your competitors on search engines. We put out a lot of videos to help you grow your search traffic, so consider subscribing to our channel to get SEO and business knowledge delivered straight to your YouTube notification. Now, what exactly is a permalink? Every web page on your site has a unique URL called permalinks. Whether it be a blog post, a blog page, a category page, a 404 page, an author page, a product page, product page with different currencies, and so many others. As long as there is a page or post on your website, it will have its very own unique permalink. Permalink is simply the entire link of a page, which includes the domain, the link structure if any, and the URL slug, which is the last part of the URL. A good permalink structure is important because it gives context to your visitors and search engines as to what your page is about. Thus, it becomes easier for your site to be indexed and it gives a better user experience that leads to better search ranking. Honestly, WordPress has simplified the process of creating permalinks. In the early days, to have an SEO-friendly permalink, you have to add a set of codes into the root HTXS file for Apache users and add another set of codes to make config file for nginx users. So WordPress has came a long way to make permalink easy to create and manage for its users, but RankMath is here to make it better. But first, let's check out what WordPress has installed for us in terms of permalinks. On your WordPress dashboard under settings and permalinks, you will see a list of permalink settings. We have the plain settings that looks like this. By default, most of the newly installed WordPress websites will have this plain settings, but I'm pretty sure you will agree that this permalink is not SEO friendly. So if this setting is selected on your website, it is important to change it right from the start. And then we have the date and name permalink structure, which will include the date of your post publication and the post title. This type of permalink structure is not typically used by most websites, but it is more suitable for news publication sites that cover multiple stories every day. The month and name permalink structure looks like this. It is not exactly the best structure and the numeric permalink structure is not helpful at all. The best permalink structure we recommend for your articles is the post name permalink that includes the title of your article, which of course the title can be amended on your specific article. We will talk about that in a while. And finally, if none of these permalink settings is suitable for your business, then WordPress allows you to customize your link structure by adding permalink text to it. If you need the time elements on your permalink, WordPress allows you to go as specific as you want down to the second of your post publication. But honestly, I don't see anybody using this tag unless the article is used to log a scientific research. Anyway, the most popular permalink structure is probably the combination of the category tag and then the post name tag. If you have a category called dogs and you have an article on German Shepherd, the custom permalink structure will look like this. Pretty neat, right? So now you know, as WordPress users, we can easily customize our permalinks of our website. Let's talk about the best practices for post and article permalinks. Google has said, when possible, use readable words rather than long ID numbers in your URLs. So they prefer something like this, where you have the category and the post name, over something like this, where this is a string of numbers that mean nothing to a human. And then use punctuation to separate words. For example, they prefer green dress with a separator in the middle over both words combined. And they recommend using hyphens instead of underscores. That's the best practice for post and article permalinks and with that knowledge, let's talk about how we can customize the promo links for each and every article to get the best result for SEO. 
Now, for some reason, you are still using the classic WordPress editor. You can customize your permalink after you have added a title and you save the post as a draft. Your permalink will appear right after the title of your article. To edit the permalink, just click on edit and you will be able to change the URL slug. If you want to change anything before the URL slug, you'll have to do it through the permalink settings as we have discussed earlier. Another option for changing the URL slug is through Rank Math Snippet Editor, which is right below the content area. As you can see, we have this Edit Snippet button. Click on it and you will see the option to change the URL slug. We'll talk more about this Rank Math feature in a while. Now, if you're on the WordPress blog editor, you can change the URL slug by clicking on this gear icon at the top right. Select post and you will see the permalink option here. Similar to the classic editor, you have to type in the title and save draft before you can edit the URL slug. And right below it, this is how your permalink will look like. You can also change the URL slug through Rank Math by clicking on this Rank Math tab and right at the top under general, you can click on this edit snippet and you will see the option to edit the permalink here. Now, what's cool about Rank Math is it gives you an indicator of how long your permalink should be. We recommend a maximum of 75 characters for the full permalink. That includes the protocol, which is the HTTPS, the domain name, the link structure, if any, and the URL slug. So the more characters you have before the URL slug, it leaves less room for customizing the URL slug. But honestly, there is no hard and fast rule as to how long your permalink should be. But a lot of independent studies we've come across said that shorter URLs have an advantage over longer URLs and it has a correlation with rankings. But generally speaking, shorter permalinks are easier to remember, hence better for user experience, which leads to better SEO. So try not to go beyond 75 characters. That's our recommendation. Be as short and precise as possible. For example, you have a permalink that looks like this. This permalink has 73 characters, which is within the range. It has the focus keyword in it, and generally, this is good. But we can make it shorter, better, and more concise. We can remove these. Some people call them stop words, or in other words, unnecessary words. So finally, it reads, best baby diapers for sensitive skin looks much better right anyway since we are talking about url slugs we gotta talk about changing them after your published article this is very common and we gotta address this now, whenever you change the URL slug of your published post, WordPress will automatically place a 301 permanent redirect on your old permalink to the new permalink. For example, this article is published with this permalink, but I've decided that this URL is too long, so I want to make it a little shorter. I'll go to the WordPress blog editor, under settings and posts, we can change the URL slug here. And if I hit update, notice that as I refresh this page, this old URL will be redirected to the new. As you can see, these all happen in the background and it is a seamless process. And because it is seamless, don't make the mistake of changing your URL slug over and over again. Although it looks like nothing bad is going to happen, in actual fact, WordPress is adding redirects after redirects every time you change the permalink. And though it may seem there is nothing wrong since it is a 301 redirect and you will not lose any search ranking or SEO juice, there is still a risk. So don't put your site at risk unknowingly. Now, this auto redirect feature from WordPress is only available for posts. If you change the URL slug for pages or custom post types, the auto redirection will not work. And this is where Rank Math comes in handy. If you go to Rank Math's dashboard, make sure that the advanced mode is selected and you want to toggle this redirections module on. Whether you're on a free version or the pro version, this redirection module is available for you. After this is turned on, under general settings and redirections, you will see this auto post redirect feature. If you turn this on, just like the WordPress redirects, Rank Math will automatically place a redirect on any URL slug changes to the post, page, category, or a custom post type. It is more comprehensive than the default WordPress feature. On top of that, you have total control over the redirections. For example, if I change the URL slug of this article and I save it, you will see there is an auto redirections created. And as I head back to the WordPress backend, there will be a notice telling me that I've changed the slug of a post and Rank Math has automatically created a redirection. You can manage the redirections by either clicking here 
or you can click on redirections under rank math and it will bring you to the same place as you can see this is the redirection that is automatically created by rank math if you want to change anything for example the redirection type click on edit and here are all the things you can amend if you want to know more about how to do proper redirection in case you're changing the url structure of your entire site or you're changing your domain or whatever the reasons to use redirection we recommend that you watch this video right here so you will lose search traffic or rankings anyway let's talk about permalinks for category pages right after the permalink settings we have talked about we have this optional section where you'll see the category base and the tag base by default whenever you create a category the permalink of the category page will look like this you'll see the category prefix before the name of the category if it is a tag you will see the tag prefix before the name of the tag so if you want to change the prefixes you can do so over here under the category base and the tag base if you want to change the prefix of the category let's say that i want to change it to topics instead of having category as you save changes just know that whenever you change the prefixes no auto redirection is created you gotta manually add the redirection so as you can see this is the old link with the category prefix let me copy this now as i refresh this this page becomes a 404 but since i've changed this to topics this will become the new link of the category page. So to do the redirect under rank math, go to redirections, add a new redirect, paste in the old URL, copy the new URL, and put it at the destination URL. And then we want to select 301. Let's add the redirection. So that if it happens that this link is indexed on search engines and people can still click through to this link, they will be redirected to the new link. The same goes for the tags. If you want to change the prefix of this, just make sure that you add a 301 redirects to the new link. Now, in case you want to remove the prefix entirely from your category pages for aesthetic reasons, as we head back to rank math general settings, you will see this strip category base. As you toggle this on and you save changes, and as you refresh this page, the prefix will be gone. Now, WordPress allows you to change the prefix of the category and tag pages, but it doesn't allow you to change the prefix of your author pages. Now, by default, the permalink for author pages will look like this. You have the author prefix and then the author name. To change the prefix, you can go to rank math under titles and meta, select authors. From here, you will see the author base where you can change the prefix. Now, if you decide to change the author base, just take note that auto redirects will not be created. So you have to manually add the redirection. I've done an example earlier, but I will do one again now. So let's say I want to change the author base from author to researcher and let's save changes. If we go back to the author page and hit refresh, you will notice that the old author page URL is gone. And this is not good for SEO. The new permalink for the author page is this. So you want to go to Rank Maps Redirection tab, add new. For the source URL, you want to add the old permalink. And for the destination URL, it is the new link. So let's go to the author page. Let's copy this new link, place it in the destination URL. And then for the old URL, we want to change the researcher back to author. Make sure that this is exact and the redirections type is 301 because the old link has permanently shifted to the new link. Again, if you want to go in depth into learning redirections, check out our other video on redirections. We have left the link in the description. And as we add redirection, we go back to our old URL and we hit enter. It will be redirected to the new permalink. Well, these are great, but I'm a product owner and I sell my products to WooCommerce. So how should I deal with the permalinks then? Good question. Let's cover this. Now, when you have installed WooCommerce on your website, under the settings and permalinks, scroll to the bottom and you will see more options added to this page. Before we go through these options, let's see what are the best practices for product permalinks. This is the best practice document from Google. If you want to check this document out, we have left a link in the description. Now with WooCommerce, we don't have to worry much about the permalinks because it takes care of almost everything. But what we need to note is to have a descriptive URL like this, instead of this and if we are using attributes like the color difference in the product we need to have it this way with the key value instead of just the value by default woocommerce took care of this i will show you in a while this is also part of the attributes that woocommerce takes care of and do not add temporary parameters such as the session ids the tracking codes and stuff like this and if you have product variations for example you are selling headphones but you are selling it in white and black google recommends to have 
either the path segment or the query parameter on your product URL. On WooCommerce, when you create a variable product, it will use the query parameter that includes your attributes. I will show you how it works in a while. And finally, you should choose one of the product variant URLs as the canonical URL for the product, which means that out of all the product variables, if you have five colors, but they are all the same product, you will have five different permalinks on your site. Google may see this as duplicate content. But if you choose one of the permalinks as the main product and you add a canonical URL to all the other variants, you are essentially telling Google that all these are the same products and put all the focus on this main product. This is the best practice from Google and RankMath takes care of that for you by default so it would seem seamless for you. I will show you what I mean in a while. But now let's talk about the categories, tags and attributes first. By default, when you create a product category, it will have this product category prefix and the same goes for the tag. If you want to remove these prefixes, RankMath allows you to do so easily. Head over to RankMath dashboard, make sure that the advanced mode is selected, and then you want to scroll to the WooCommerce module and turn this on. Then you'll want to go to the general settings, select WooCommerce, and you will see several options here to remove the prefixes. We will talk about the category first. By toggling this on, let's say that we have a product category page permalink that looks like this, where there is the prefix, the category name, and a child category. With the remove category base toggled on, the product category prefix will be removed. Now the second option is to remove the parent slugs. So with the same permalink, if that option is toggled on, you will remove the accessories from the permalink. So if if you toggle both options on, your product category permalink will be left with the child category which is this. For best practice, just try to keep the number of characters on your URL to be below 75 characters. If all the category prefixes and parent slugs are not removed and the entire permalink is still within 75 characters, I think there is no harm in keeping them. Again, there is no hard and fast rule on the product category permalinks. Just keep it as short and concise as possible. Now as for the product attribute base, we will circle back to this. But let me show you how to add a variable product so we can talk about the permalinks of the variable product. Now let's start with adding an attribute. Let me give you an example of an attribute. If you sell headphones and you have different colors, black and white, you can create an attribute with black and white. And you can add that color attribute to your product, which is the headphone. So over here at the attributes, let's create an attribute and call it color. And let's add the slug as color. And if you enable archives, that's where this product attribute base comes into effect. I will show you this in a while. Let's add this attribute. And what we want to do now is to add the attribute terms, which mean the value of the color. Let's click on configure terms. And now you add the specific color. We have black. Make sure that the slug makes sense because it will appear on the link. Don't put pink here if it is black. Doesn't make sense, right? And then let's add the color. Let's do another and make this white. Cool. Now, if we add a new product and name this headphones, let's save draft and the permalink of your product will appear right below the title. If you want to edit the permalink, you can click on edit. And another method for changing the permalink is to go to where rank math is, click on edit snippet, and you can edit the permalink here. Again, we recommend that your product URL be less than 75 characters. Next, let's set this product as a variable product. And since we have created an attribute, let's go to the attribute tab and add an attribute. Let's select color, which is the attribute we have created, and let's click on add. Now we want to add the value we have set earlier, which is black and white. And we want to check this so that this attribute can be used as a product variation. Let's save attributes and then under variations, we can add a variation by clicking on go. If we didn't add the attribute with the checkbox earlier, you won't see this. So we have added a variation. Let's select black. Let's expand this. Let's add a regular price and save changes. We are doing just the bare minimum. Now I'm showing you how to set up a variable product because I want you to know how we derive at the product permalinks in a while. So bear with me. Let's add another variation. Now we want to select white, expand this, add the regular price and save changes. So now we have a product with two variations. Let's set a product image, add another image in the gallery, and let's publish this product. Let's view the product. This is the permalink for this product. And do you know for each variable product, it has its own permalink as well. If I select the black version of the product, let's add to cart, view cart. And if you hover to the product link and you open it up, 
you will notice the main product URL here with the query string that includes the attribute. So WooCommerce already provides you with the best practice without any manual work from you. On top of that, because each product variation will have its own permalink, RankMath takes care of the canonical URL for you in the background without you noticing. You will see that the main product URL is added here by default. You can change it if you want to, or you can leave it blank and the main product URL will be used as the canonical URL. So all the permalinks for the variable products will have this canonical URL pointing towards the main product URL. This simplifies the process for you and it makes following the best practice seamless. Now circling back to the product attribute base. If for example, somebody wants to find all the white products on your website, you can give them this link. Your domain slash the attribute name which is the color we have created slash white which is the value of the attribute and as you hit enter you will get all the white products on your website this is basically the link to your attributes so on a product attribute base by default this is left blank and the link that i've provided will work but if you want to add a prefix like shop Let's save changes. If we go back to the previous URL and refresh it, you will notice the link is gone. So you have got to manually add a 301 redirect from this old link to this new link. And that's what the product attribute base does. Now let's talk about the product permalinks. Now I'm pretty sure that you have noticed in the product URL, there is the product prefix here. And this is all because of the product permalink settings. The product prefix is added by default. You can change the prefix by selecting either of these, or you can customize the prefix. But if you want to remove the prefix completely, you can't do it here. But RankMath allows you to do so by going to the general settings, select WooCommerce, and you will have the option to completely remove the prefix from your product permalinks. Just be careful that if you do so, the product links without the prefix will not clash with any other links on your website. This remove base option is purely for personal and aesthetic reasons. It comes with no additional SEO benefit. So in general, if you're using WooCommerce with RankMath, adhering to the best practices for product permalinks is seamless. You will not have to worry about getting penalties from search engines unless you did something out of the ordinary. So let's recap. Firstly, for post permalinks, try to keep it short and concise and keep it within 75 characters. RankMath has an indicator that can be found if you click on the snippet editor, which is right here. And this practice is part of the SEO analysis over here as well, making your permalink optimization seamless. Secondly, WordPress automatically creates a 301 redirect for you whenever you change the URL slug of your articles, but this automatic redirect feature is only available for posts. It will not work for pages, categories, or custom post types. You need to toggle this auto post redirection on from the rank maps redirection module so that all the post page category or custom post types will automatically be redirected to the new link if there is a change in the URL slug. Thirdly, you can amend the category base of the category prefix. Under the permalink settings, you can change the prefix of your category pages by changing the text here. But if you wish to remove the category prefix entirely, you can go to rank maps general settings under links you can toggle this on. Doing so will not provide you with any SEO benefits, but it is more of a personal preference and aesthetic reasons. Fourthly, WordPress does not allow you to change the author base or the prefix, but RankMath allows you to do so under titles and meta and authors. You will see the option to change the author base here. Fifth, you already know that using WooCommerce with RankMath makes adhering to the best practices seamless. RankMath automatically adds a canonical URL to your product variations, and WordPress allows you to change the product prefixes on the permalinks, but does not allow you to remove the prefixes completely, and that's where RankMath comes in handy. Under RankMath's general settings and WooCommerce, you will have the option to remove the prefixes from the product and the product category permalinks. That's a wrap. I hope with this knowledge, you will have a clear understanding of how WordPress permalinks work and how you can turn those permalinks to your benefit in terms of SEO. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. We'll do our best to help you out. And if you find this video helpful, please do us a little favor and smash that thumbs up button. It will really help our RankMath channel grow and we'll continue to provide you with tons of value to help you beat your competitors on search engines. Do subscribe and hit the bell notification as well. This is Jack from RankMath. I'll see you in the next video.